Okay, welcome to Jackie's tutorial on how to outsmart NPCs on Spyro the Dragon. Here we go. Okay, first you start out in this world. I think it's called Peacekeeper's World, ironically. Okay, so there's that guy. Yeah, of course, he has a spiky thing. Not very friendly. See two guys standing over there. One of them is harmless. The other one is just gonna basically charge you with your spear and try to ass rape you. So, take care of that guy. He'll come selflessly <laughs> try to shoot you with his cannon. But if you stand in front of him, he can't do anything. I mean, literally, he can't do anything. And if you, if you chase him around, you just make him so, his cannon cycle. So, let's make him cycle his cannon towards the other guys with cannons. Okay, one more time around. You can do it. You can do it. He said, boy, they. There we go. Let's take care of him. Okay. See those two guys over there? You can actually um, hit both of them from this point, but I think I'll just hit one just for the hell of it. Let's get the guy who's closest. So you, you move the direction of the cannon with your horns, and you fire, press the fire button, and you launch a cannon off. Takes care of that guy. Alright. Now since this cannon is already aimed towards the other guy, we could intimidate him a little bit. Watch him try to fire cannons and obviously not hit. Because when you're behind a cannon, you're just sheltered. Come on, try to get me. Try to get me, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, nope. Guess you can't. Okay. And watch. <laughs> One shot. Takes him out. Alright. There's the fun in that. Now, here comes more fun. See those guys all over there? Not suspecting and plotting. Let's see how I think I'll aim for the closest. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I guess there's an arc thing in the way. Ah, uh, I'll go use the other cannon. The question is, do I want to just kill them or do I want to have fun with them? And I think the option I'll choose is the ladder. So I'll burn down their houses where they would run to. One down. And I won't attack them directly. Not yet. down. Trying to make sure that you're not at an angle where it would automatically direct and kill them. Oh, uh, well, that one guy, he's being an arrogant bastard getting in the way of my aim. Okay, he moved. Okay, oh shoot. Oh, crap, okay. I guess I'm going to take them down inadvertently anyway. Let's see if we can get this guy to run. Oh no, he's just going to move me. You're really going to move me. Okay, you're asking for it, buddy. Do you want flame roasted ass or do you want horns up your ass? Because I can easily do both. Want horns up your anus? All right. That's like that. In these houses, you can burn them down when they hide behind them. Okay, which one do I want to do? I'm gonna go that route or this route. Now, if you if you okay, I have an idea. Let's see. If you take them on in, if you take them on directly, what they'll do is instead of fighting you, they'll all go hide underneath these houses like they're in, like like you can't see them. Like you didn't just see them run underneath there. And it's not like, okay, yeah, you can't charge the houses, but what they don't consider is I'm a dragon. And it's kind of obvious that I would have flames. And so there he is, cowering in fear, mooning me again. Okay, what will you have, buddy? With the hor horribly uh, animated quivering, you look like a frog. <laughs> There's this guy. Okay, what's, what's your choice, buddy? What's your choice of, um, okay, you wanna moon me? You can, you can do this, the, uh... Okay, you want root. <laughs> There's this one. I'm smelling a luau. Okay. And so... If you can manage to get past... These guys are outstanding. You just charge... Okay, remember, he's this guy. He can't really do a freaking thing about, like, Oh, ooh, I'm standing right in front of you. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, apparently. I'm going to charge him. Take his cannon. <laughs> you can even like use the cannon to burn down the houses that they hit in. <sighs> what you gonna do, guys? What you gonna do? And you can just fire it at him again and let's take them both out. So you get from winning you cocky bastards. And yeah, that's basically um how you outsmart NPCs. Sometimes though, just for the hell of it, I use this cannon to um aim at the jackals that are running around. 
they don't automatically, it doesn't automatically lock onto them, but it's still fun to do for target practice, even though this isn't an essential, essential part of the game by any means. The jackals are good for butterflies, and I think it's easier to do if you use the other cannons, the ones over here, because there are more just roaming about. So, use your triangle button, take aim, fire at those little fuckers. Get them. Oh, missed. See, that's, there's less accuracy this way. Just keep firing, you'll eventually hit some. Ah, uh, gotcha. Now butterflies. So if you're ever low on health, or at least spark, spark was, then, um, yeah, you could just go gnaw on those jackals. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh... There's other NPCs you can outsmart, I mean, this is personally my favorite place. And, oh, and there's that cocky little bastard over by the lake. Let me see if I can remember where it was. I think it was over this river. And in the dune... Well, I guess I can't go around that way. This thing. Jump over that. Can't see where was it? Oh, it's back here. Yeah, these guys. These guys annoy the shit out of me right here. These guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna get you. They usually have dragon eggs. For those of you who haven't played Spyro, it's um. Okay, why would you turn around in a circle? You're just trying to prove how much of an annoyance you are. <sighs> okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I guess that's the end of the tutorial for now. Well, maybe I'll check in with some other gamer, or maybe some other part of this that I find ridiculous. Okay. And that's that.